strong-willed, independent, smart mouth. <laughs> Those are all pretty accurate words to describe the fire that has always blazed so brightly within me. When I was in second grade, my mom thought she would go ahead and put this fire to a test. And she may have gotten burnt just a little bit. I had firmly decided that I would be running away from home and as all good parents do, they attempt to call your bluff on it. I mean, nowadays that could be called child endangerment, but back then it was called teaching your kid a lesson. Now, I can't quite remember what had infuriated me so much, whether it was having to clean my room or eat all of the food on my plate. Ugh. I mean, you can see how unfairly I was being treated. In any case, I packed a pillowcase full of all the essentials, snacks, clean underwear, and a change of clothes, grabbed my best walk-in shoes, and hollered to the entire household that I would be running away from home. Naturally, my mother yells back, okay, bye, have fun. Oh, the nerve of her. Well, I snatched up that pillowcase, threw it over my shoulder, flung the front door open, and said, I am never coming back, and let the screen door slam behind me because that would teach her a lesson. I headed confidently down my street, made a left-hand turn onto a very busy road that I had absolutely no business being on alone, and headed into town. Now, I know what you all may be thinking. Like, what the hell was second grade me doing? Did I even have a plan? But yes, I did have a plan. I was going to get a job at Pier 1 Imports. <sighs> I had always loved their yummy smelling candles, cozy throw pillows, and not to mention their patio lights are too die for. I had full confidence that I would walk into that front door, ask to speak to a manager, they would be amazed at all of my talents, and offer me a job. That fire that I spoke about that burns within me, it has always had my back in the confidence department. So I continued my stride into town, mulling over my foolproof plan in my eight-year-old mind, when suddenly a cop car drives past. And I'm fully aware that cop cars do not approve of second graders walking into very busy towns by themselves, pillowcases flung over their shoulder, dreaming about their Pier 1 import dreams. <sighs> I looked around for somewhere to hide, anywhere to hide. And luckily, I noticed a large patch of grass growing next to the side of the road because I would be damned if a cop was going to get in the way of me and my domestic store bliss. Just about as I was, jump just as I was about to jump into that tall grass, I heard a dog barking a large dog barking, and it was definitely coming from within the grass. I hesitated, which was all the time the cops need in order to bust a U-turn, pull up next to me, and throw me into the back seat of the car. Yeah, the back seat of the car. But don't worry, I wasn't scared. Defiance was written all over my face. They looked in their rear view mirror, gave me their best steely glance, and said, what's your address? Oh, I was ready for this. I assuredly responded, 18 Eric Drive, Johnson City, New York, 13790. Hmm. That fire that I speak of? Oh, still blazing. Full speed ahead right now. Upon pulling up to my house, my best friend happened to be at the front door, and she threw that open and announced to the entire neighborhood that Chrissy's back and she's in a cop car. My mother comes running to the front door to greet us and collect her Mother of the Year award. And I put my hand on the back of that cop car, still feeling strong as ever, and then realizing that I couldn't get out of the cop car because you're trapped in the backseat of those things. And for the first time, that fire diminished a little within me, and I struggled not to cry. But everything turned out okay. The cops had a little chat with my mom, but none of us ended up as property of the state, so that's a good thing. You know... I'm quite proud of this fierceness I possess. And yes, it may have gotten me into a precarious situation a time or two, but has also helped me pull through many. So I think that I will keep pulling a Daenerys Targaryen. And when I see those flames, I'll walk right into them. And maybe I'll get scalded, but maybe I will walk right out of them unscathed.